welcome viewers in our learning for knowledge youtube channel today we will describe the ultra filtration operation and back washing steps in the last video we explained the ultra filtration basis and now we will move ahead and describe the operation and back washing As I described in the last video that ultra filtration which is known as UF involves basically pressure driven separation of contaminants using membrane from a feed solution or from impurities. Now pressure drives the process which typically operates with a feed pressure of around 4 to 100 psig. Now I explain the module feature. Basically in this type this is the a typical module uh, of UF membrane in which water flows. Now the water outside inflow pattern configuration allows air score cleaning and while dead end flow offers high recovery and energy saving. These are two important points that in this module waters flow from outside to inside membrane and secondly it allows a better water air cleaning so, and other thing is it is dead end flow configuration which offers high recovery and energy saving. Now there are four connections in each modules are available. At the bottom there are two ports. One is for air at the bottom and this is feed which is this side of this module. These are the two ports available at the bottom and now at the top there are two ports. One is for permeate on this side and other is on the top which is for concentrate or reject. So these are the four types used in this single module. Now after this there are different operation cycles in UF. So I explain one by one from this. Now first is filtration. This is simple forward filtration in which water goes from outside of the membrane and after with the help of pressure it will come inside of the membrane which is outside in flow and on the top there is a dead end. So water is basically enter from this feed which is outside and then come out from the inside which from as a permeate. Second operation mode is backwash. We can re reverse the direction of flow for cleaning purpose that is water now coming from inside and go outside and in this way we will clean or backwash this uh, membrane. So this is called backwash cleaning and we use permeate water for backwash. Then another way of operation is forward flush, simple forward flow in which both rejection and permeate flow can be dumped. No resultant water is used. So basically in forward flush what we are getting as a permeate or concentrate it is reject. And then air scoring that is air through air cleaning. With the help of air we shake the membrane to remove solid that is air with the help of air pressure when it go into the membrane the impurities which are stick on the membrane surface now dry and drop and then remove from the surface. So this is basically water flow direction. Now during the filtration mode water is coming inside outflow <coughs> enter in the membrane from inside and then through this pressure it will go outside this is in outflow and in the backwash mode we enter the water from outside and through the pressure water enters in this inside and then removes the impurities which are stick on the inside of this membrane when water enter from outside it will remove all these impurities and this is the process of backwashing. So all these operation phenomena basically can be easily understand if you know or understand this filtration mode and backwash mode water movement or water flow. Is an, there is another explanation that is filtration and backwash how in normal filtration process you can see that water is going from this bottom from filtration and then after moving from outside of the membrane the purified water come inside and then we will get permeate. In the backwash bottom we close the bottom valve now the water is entering you can see from the 
from this permeate path and then because this word this valve is closed in this case now it will be uh, pressurized and then water from the other side outside inside flow it will go up and then remove this is the way in the third backwash top we will close the top valve and water still enter from this permeate path and then after entering into the membrane and it will be get it on the as a reject and from the bottom so there are difference that although we are seeing bash backwash bottom but in backwash bottom we close the bottom valve and in the backwash top we close the top valve and we get the reject or uh, the water which is uh, dumped is now uh, you can collect it from the bottom these are the basically demonstration of the pictures and you can understand from this there are few generalized schematic diagram and i will explain this the normal operation or which is called filtration refers to the routine operation and backwash steps now water from this is the feed water and pump pump this through through this uh, membrane before this membrane we have a filter which have a size of 150 to 300 micrometer which stops the bigger particle and then water enter from this point which is feed point as we show in the previous uh, <coughs> diagrams and then after filtration the water we get the water from this filtrate from the top you can see that during this process these well top well and bottom well and other backwash well are closed and air well is also closed only the feed feed water inlet well is open and permeate water uh, well is open and we get the filtrate and some water is stored as a backwash uh, in this tank this is the normal operation now an AS core step that is air cleaning step is used to loosen particle deposited on the outside of the membrane why outside because when we feed the water water comes at the outside and then it will go inside so this is the diagram all wells are closed only air from the bottom from the bottom enters in the module and at the top it goes up and now everything uh, and the impurities present here are present here but detach and shake and we can easily remove through in the backwash step so air is introduced at the bottom of the module and flows along the outside of the fibers now bottom backwash you can see in the bottom backwash here pump is taking the water from this backwash tank and water is entered from the top and now in the backwash here this well is closed and we get the you can say that in the uh, sorry the water is entered from the top and then we get after the cleaning the water on this bottom and top valve is closed this is the bottom backwash you can easily see this diagram top backwash the water is entered into the module through this path inside the membrane and going out and then from outside it rise up and we can get the uh, water which contains the dirt and cleaning material at the top so these basically are the different steps four different steps involved in the uh, uf filtration very simple first is normal filtration then we can clean the we can use the air to clean the impurities or membrane then we have a top backwash and bottom backwash in each of the backwash processes the water enter in inside the membrane and come from the outside as I already described you in the previous style previous uh, pictures where you can easily see so thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you will like this and we will continue to provide you the knowledgeable videos in the future.